So this will be the last fine tuning of the installation and John will be able to fly his airplane back to Tennessee. Came in with the O200 and leaving with the Viking 130. And we'll have some information about performance increases at the end of this video. Here you can see the lightweight exhaust that he went with. It's a slight upcharge, but it's a beautiful exhaust. And it has a swivel system up at the top and then a adjustable standoff at the bottom where it can be adjusted to hit the hole in the cowling just perfect. So we have a nice uh, installation of all the parts. The nice thing about this is once it's properly installed, there's very, very little maintenance. We have people flying a thousand hours with just basically just checking the spark plugs. Um, that doesn't mean you shouldn't, you know, do your gearbox changes and so forth and so on, but it's a very reliable system. Here we have the uh, cooling hoses, the alternator, the gearbox, the radiator inlet, and so forth. All completed. Time for a spinner and a propeller. And last little bit of tidying up with uh, bundling wires and so forth. Still have to do the cowling, but everything else ready for testing. We, we took the four screws out of this front baffle plate around the nose wheel and put it back in the cowling in order to mark the cutout that we need. We cut it out and then the air can enter from underneath the cowling and go up onto the radiator. And here we basically are doing what we've shown in a lot of videos, which is the process of mounting a cowling step by step. Okay, so the question then remains, is it worth upgrading a 0200 to a Viking 130 in a Zenith 750 airplane? Well, for John it was. <clears throat> he increased his cruising speed by 25 miles an hour while reducing fuel burn, and his takeoff run is less than half right now. His 0200 has been removed. It's on a pallet. Um, he's selling it as a firewall forward package to someone that uh, does not need this kind of performance. But for him and what he's going to use his airplane for, the 130 Viking clearly was a better choice. So Jan has done the test flying. Paperwork is done. And John is ready to fly home from X-50 to Tennessee.